Jesus is coming! that in 10 years when we are sitting here we have an implant in our uh, brains and um, I can immediately feel because you all will have implants I can and we measure your your brain waves and I can immediately tell you how the people react or I can feel uh, how the people react um, to your answers uh, is it imaginable um, I, I think that is imaginable I think um, I, I think you know you can imagine that you can imagine well you're going to be sort of transplanted into you know the the internet so to speak to live forever in a digital realm. This is what convinces people to accept to legitimize total biometric surveillance. If we want to stop this epidemic. We need not just to monitor people, we need to monitor what's happening under the skin. Inside our own heads is the most complex arrangement of matter in the known universe. You might ask yourself, can we get to be superhumans? It's corporations and governments collecting data about where we go, who we meet, what movies we watch. The next phase is the surveillance going under our skin. We now see mass surveillance systems established even in democratic countries, which previously rejected them. And we also see a change in the nature of surveillance. Previously, surveillance was mainly above the skin, now it's going under the skin. Governments want to know not just where we go or who we meet, above all they want to know what is happening under our skin. What's our body temperature? What's our blood pressure? What, what is our medical condition? Now humans are developing even bigger powers than ever before. We are really acquiring divine powers of creation and destruction. We are really upgrading humans into gods. We are acquiring, for instance, the, the power to re-engineer life. The future is built by us. The future is built by us. Humans are now hackable animals. You know, the, the whole idea that humans have, you know, this, they, they have this soul or spirit and they have free will and nobody knows what's happening inside me. So whatever I choose, whether in the election or whether in the supermarket, this is my free will, that's over. One of the biggest dangers in the technological utopianism that, oh, the technology will solve it, is the kind of uh, Noah Ark syndrome. Like in the Bible with the flood, that yes, eventually they built an ark, but just for five people. 
or something like that. Right. Almost everybody drowned. And there is a very big danger that with climate change, when people talk about what's our future going to be like, there is no us. There is no our future. Humanity might divide into a majority, maybe, of people who would suffer tremendously and a minority that will have the resources, the wealth, the technology to protect themselves and even flourish in some kind of technological Noah's Ark. Oh, God bless you guys and thank you for checking in.